everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to Gina B. Aaron's Design Team. This month for the month of May, we are going to be doing sparkly dimensional texture. Can't get any better than that, can you? I think that's every girl's uh, dream is sparkle dimension and texture. So I have my piece of watercolor paper here. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to lay down some gesso. And I am using Decolard Americana Premium White Gesso. And yes, I am a part of the um, Helping Artist Program through um, Deco Art, which basically allows me the opportunity to teach people about their products. And I do have a love-hate relationship with these tubes. I love that they're in the tubes because they're easy to transport. But I like being able to stick my brush into the gesso or into my paint. So I'm going to get this all covered and I have a great idea for sparkly texture. And it's a very positive, um, I have a very positive take, if you will, on this month's prompt. All right, I am going to dry this up and clean up my mess. And I'll be right back. All right, now that we have our gesso on, I'm gonna bring out my palette here. And we're gonna do a little playing. I'm going to take my daffodil yellow. And as always, the um, supply list of everything that I use will be in the description below with links to Amazon where I am an affiliate. This is a little bit of heaven. This is Americana pearlizing medium. And what it does is it takes your paint and it makes it pearly. So I added a pretty good lot to that because I want to cover the whole page. Like I might have some lumpity lumps in there. That's all right. It happens. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a pearl. Pearlish. And I'm just going to slap this on here. I also like how it kind of makes it a little bit lighter. You kind of see through it. Dog hair. I apologize in advance. You hear my dog barking. The kids next door are outside playing, as all children should be. Have the chance to play outside, do it. Okay. So, in case you were wondering, no, this is not my sparkle part of the uh, project. I just happen to like a little bit of shimmer in my my yellow, especially for this project. 
Ugh. Sometimes if you don't use something for a long time, you'll get these little lumps and bumps. But that's okay. That's all right. Okay, I am going to dry this up and clean this up and all of it. Okay, up. this is all nice and dry now. Now we're going to bring in our next step. Bring my palette back. Bring back um, my ice blue dazzling metallic. And I'm going to bring in my uh, deco art media modeling paste. This is where we're going to get our texture from. So I'm just going to take of this out here and that is probably going to be too much but that's okay and try to make sure I keep y'all in frame here and add some of that to it And I'm just going to mix this up with my palette knife. This is a beautiful blue color. little pile here and I am going to take one of Gina's stencils called Starlight and we're just going to position this just right Add some texture by adding some blue stars. And remember too that when you're using texture paste with your stencils, as soon as you are done, you're going to want to wash your stencils because you do not want. Hmm. Just trying to figure out how to set this on here so that I don't mush anything. You're going to want to wash your stencils right away because you don't want to ruin your stencils. And knowing me, I'll probably end up mushing a few stars because that's how I roll. Wow, not too bad. Got a little bit more to do up over here. See, I knew I'd mush a few, and I did. I need one more star. Of course, I need one more star. I need it right there. You know, I'm going to I'm going to turn this around.
There we go. All right. I am going to dry this mess up. And I'm going to clean my stencil up. I'll be right back. Okay, let's set this over here. I cleaned this up a little bit, but that's okay. I've got more to do to it. First thing we're going to do here, though, is I'm going to bring out my squishy stamp pad. Just kind of get this to make sure it's laying as flat as I can get it. And we're going to be using Gina's um, stamp set number four. And what girl do I want to use? I think I want to use this girl. I'm going to put her on my block. Actually, let me see if I can clean some of this side stuff off here. Sometimes it'll come off, sometimes it won't. There's special cleaner that you can use to clean off your um, stamps with, but I don't particularly like to do that. I kind of consider them seasoned, if you will. And I drop it on the floor. Such as my day has been today. Okay. Now I'm going to use my black stays on. And we're going to ink her up. And I like to take the ink to the stamp, not the stamp to the ink. That way I can see to make sure I've got all the nooks and crannies. You know, especially when you have something that's really delicate. It, this uh, particular stamp has some really delicate lines, some delicate features to it. So I like to make sure it's good and stamped. I'm going to stick her right up here. She's not quite in the middle. She's going to be kind of off center a little bit. And I'm going to push. And then I'm going to come straight up. She's okay. I might have to go back over with a marker. But she's okay. I have a good outline. I'm going to go ahead and oops, pick this up. It'll help if I put the lid on it right. All right, let me clean this up. Okay, I'll be right back a little bit. And some thanks to my black Oscar pen. God's gift to every artist. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put another word. I'm going to put a word over here. And I've taped off, I've masking taped off um, a word that's down here that I don't want on there. I'm try to line that up nicely, make sure it's straight. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it kind of straight. And then I'm just going to ink this up, and I want to make sure that I don't get any ink on the um, blue masking tape. So I'm taking the pad to the stamp and pressing. Careful not to get that. Um, I think I may have gotten just a smidge. And I can always clean it up with some yellow paint afterwards if I need to. I'm going to press. Lift straight up. Pretty good. So 
goes there. And then this is going to go right here. I wonder if I have you guys from you. Sometimes. I just forget. Nope, I'll put it over here. I'm going to clean these all up with my Posca. I love it. Dream it. Well, it'll say dream it <laughs> when I'm done. Put my back tape back over there. Dream it, imagine it. It shows me the right direction. Sometimes with these words, you need to make sure you're going the right direction. <laughs> Straight up, create. Let's forget. I'll come straight up. Okay. And I'll clean this up with a little bit of yellow paint. Not a big deal. All right, so let me clean it up and I'll be right back because we have so okay. much more to do. So I've got that all nice and cleaned up. Now I need to start on my girl. And I need to start with her hair. I decided to make her hair purple. And this is just a me purple metallic marker that a friend of mine picked up for me at a Japanese thrift store called Daiso. And it looks like I may have to go back over my marks a little bit, but that's okay. Because I think she needs to have purple hair. Every girl needs purple hair, right? My granddaughter is going to be getting an award for uh, straight A's. She's a second grader. And her reward for straight A's is she gets to have her hair colored pink. <laughs> I think that's awesome. I think grandma may join her. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to put those lines in there. Maybe this is going to be okay just like this. We shall see.
but yeah, there's a Japanese dollar store called Daiso. And my friend Vicky was out on a day trip and found it at our urging. <laughs> and yeah, look what she came home with. <laughs> Metallic markers for all of us. I don't know. I think I kind of like her without the... Well, I guess she kind of has to have it because they'll wonder why there's that that coming out. Hmm. Well, let's dry that up and we'll fix her right up. All right, I cleaned this up a little bit. I still have more to do. So I gave my girl her purple hair and I put some green dots around the lettering. And now I'm going to start on my star. So I'm going to turn it this way so I'm not sticking my hand in anything. I'm going to bring back my ice blue and I'm going to get to work cleaning up my stars. Okay, we are down to the very end of this here. Now, I just want to show you see, this is a really cheap paintbrush. Your supplies do not need to be top of the line. Get yourself a couple of good stencils, a couple of stamps. This paint is a quality paint at an inexpensive price. And Gina has quality stamps and stencils at a, um, they're quality at a very good price. And um, there's a discount code. I will link Gina's Etsy shop um, in the description below. And anytime you purchase anything from Gina's store, her Etsy shop, just pop my coupon code in there. It's my gift to you. Um, and you'll get a discount. I think it's like 10 or 15%, but hey, 10 or 15% is better than no percent. So I'm happy to do that for you all put this lid back on and I can never get these lids on straight okay I'm excited here we go she's done because these are the stars you know dream for the stars go for the stars how about if I bring this down so you can see it go for the stars dream it imagine it and then create it you can do it if I can do this anybody can do this so thank you so much for joining us please don't forget to stop by gina's uh gina's etsy store and check out all of the awesome things that she has and also don't forget to check out all the other design team members and um their their take on sparkly dimensional texture i've got my dimension it's sparkly and it's texture so i hope you enjoyed it have a really great month, and I will see you next month. And in the meantime, remember, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.